Urban sprawl is when people move from a populated area into a less populated area. It's also known as migration of population. Take Jimmy, for instance. Jimmy thinks that his city is too crowded and the property taxes are too high, so he comes to the conclusion that he should move to the suburbs where there is more breathing space and the property taxes less. So Jimmy packs his things and moves out to his new red house. Jimmy is extremely happy, but Jimmy has no idea what he has done. When people such as Jimmy move into the suburbs, they force commissioners to destroy land to make room for infrastructures. In the process of building infrastructures, many plants and animals are killed due to habitat loss. The ozone layer gets destroyed even more and carbon emissions are released. Some people think that building more houses and buildings would help the economy, but overall it does more damage than good. Clearing land and building infrastructure costs a lot of money and takes lots of time to build. However, Jimmy isn't the only one. He's among many in the world. In between 1982 and 2012, more than 38,000 miles squared of farmland were developed. That's roughly one-third of Nevada in a span of 30 years. If urban sprawl doesn't subside, there will be no more habitats for animals and forests will be replaced with roads and buildings. Our air would become even more polluted and we'd have to wear air masks. We'd also have less resources to provide for an enormous population. Urban sprawl is very harmful to the environment. It causes lots of carbon emissions to be released and our earth becomes destroyed. We have to come together to protect our fragile environment and all the animals that live in it. We need to learn to coexist with nature. Don't spread the herd, just spread the word. Visit LeonardoDiCaprio.org for more information on the different organizations that you can help support to reduce the effect of urban sprawl.